In this video, we're going to understand division by fractions on numerous levels. The first level of understanding division by fractions is just what the definition of it is. We start out with a definition and we see what it says. Division by a number is defined as multiplication by the multiplicative inverse of that number. In other words, um, well, first of all, what is a multiplicative inverse? It's the number that you multiply a number by to get 1. And it'll always be the reciprocal of that number. For instance, 3 times a third is equal to 1. 2 thirds times 3 over 2 is equal to 1. And so division by a number is defined as multiplication by the inverse of that number. That's how we're defining it. That's the definition. It doesn't get more simple than that. That's the fundamental thing. So 2 divided by 2 is going to be 2 times the multiplicative inverse of 2, which is 1 over 2, and it's going to be equal to 1. And a more complex example, like 2 fifths divided by 2 thirds, is going to be equal to 2 fifths times the multiplicative inverse of 2 thirds, or 3 over 2. That's going to simplify into 6 over 10, which is going to be equal to 3 over 5. So the second way of thinking about it, instead of being a definition, it'll appeal to our common sense. And it is the measurement model. How many of the second number fit into the first number? And it works for ordinary division as well. How many times does 3 fit into 12? 4 times. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So let's look at an example. 2 divided by 1 over 5. Uh, so let's see what that is. So we pick a value for 1, like a little rectangle to represent 1, just arbitrarily. And remember, arbitrary means that we chose it for no particular reason. We just had to pick some sort of standard. And 1 fifth of 1 is going to be that little green rectangle over there. And 2 is going to be that long rectangle over there that's twice as long as the first one. And the question is, how many of those green rectangles can fit inside the 2? And we see that 10 of them, if you count them, will fit inside. So that's why the answer is 10, according to the measurement model. It's asking how many fit into the first number. The third model is called the partitive model. And this is going to be confusing uh, just by reading the text, but it'll be much clearer when you see the example. Find the number such that the fraction of it is the first number. Uh, the fraction is going to be the second number listed. And he, the example will clear it up. 2 divided by 1 fifth means 1 fifth of what number is 2? And you can do trial and error. You can think it might be 9, it might be 12, and eventually you'll get 10. Uh, 1 fifth of 10 is indeed 2. So it's kind of, this is a kind of thinking in reverse, and it's probably much harder to remember um, because the order in which the actual question is stated, one-fifth of what number is two, is the opposite of the order that it is uh, in, in mathematical notation, which is two divided by one-fifth. And so whenever I think of division by fractions, I usually think of the measurement model before I think of the partitive model. Now, these latter two are called representations. They're not definitions because they don't really get to the bottom of what it's all about. But in, when people study math, often the representations come first, and then they want to create a definition that takes all of them into account. So representations are really important, and I don't think you could really understand a mathematical idea by just memorizing the definition. You should always know uh, at least a couple of intuitive, conceptual, real-world representations if you really want to have a good feel of the uh, mathematical idea.